All right, so today we're in Oldfield, a beautiful gated private club where golf is optional. They have all kinds of great amenities here, including equestrian facilities, boating facilities, amazing health and wellness facilities, tons of clubs, tons of activities, but we're gonna talk about all that in just a minute. So don't go anywhere. We're about to get started right now. want to know everything there is to know about the South Carolina Low Country, whether it's Bluffton, Beaufort, Hilton Head Island, or Jasper County, then subscribe below and tap that bell for notifications so you'll be the first to know everything about the South Carolina Low Country. My name is David Simcox, host of Low Country Lifestyles and a local realtor. I get calls and emails every day from people like you and you and you looking to make their move here, and I absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in three days, three weeks, or three months, give me a call, send me an email, shoot me a text, or book a Zoom call, all in the description below, so I can help you find your low country lifestyle. Now today we're in Oldfield. This is one of my favorite communities. It is a private, gated, exclusive club, but the golf course here, it's a Greg Norman golf course, it is optional. You can still play a little bit if you live in here, but if you wanna play above the few rounds uh, that they give you for living in the neighborhood, you will have to join the actual golf club. We'll talk about that later. But there's all kinds of incredible things to do here. There's a great health and wellness center. There's a riverfront area. There's outfitters that'll take you out on boats. There's um, all kinds of amazing things we're gonna talk about in detail. And the other thing I love about Oldfield is it is oozing with southern charm and architecture and you see these gigantic century old oak trees draped in Spanish moss. So it really really is picturesque and just has so much character to it. But I don't want to spoil all the surprises. Stay tuned. We're going to go through the entire neighborhood. We're going to learn about the lifestyle. We're going to look at some of the homes and some of the architecture. And then if you stay till the end, we're gonna jump inside my computer and we're gonna look at the market and some of the data. So don't go anywhere. We're about to get started right now. All right, so now we're at the main clubhouse here. And the clubhouse is also the location of the Magnolia Grill, which is the main dining experience uh, here at Oldfield. There's another uh, even I guess you could say fancier restaurant down by the river, but we're gonna take a look at that later. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna look around the clubhouse, and we're gonna get a sneak peek at Magnolia Grill. So I love this big front porch out here. Uh, you've got the rocking chairs, definitely just oozing with Southern charm. Let's go in and take a look around here. Very beautiful in here. Hey, how are you? And uh, we've got a couple of private rooms back on this side. This is also the entrance to the uh, men's locker room, which we're not going to go in there because that is kind of a private area for members. But if you come, we can definitely get you in to uh, take a look around. We'll head on back here. As you can see, it's holiday time, so they've got some uh, gingerbread houses going. Um, lots of really cool events here and very much a southern feel in this neighborhood we've got the uh, the trophy case right here and uh, more plaques here for the old field golf club this is the hole in one club and we come back here and you've got the magnolia grill and this is just really beautiful and you've got the fire going over here you've got a grand piano back here and then we've got a couple of different dining rooms so you've got kind of a private area right over here you i don't know if you can see out past those doors there's a porch actually i think we can take a peek right here so you've got well anyway it's locked but you can see out here they've got dining on the porch and then we've got more seating right out here, which we'll take a peek at in just a second. Oh, 
well, they've got this locked right now. But anyway, I'm gonna bring the camera right up to the window so you can peek in this room. All right, and let's see if this door is open. There we go. So you can see the view out here overlooking the golf course is incredible. All right, and of course they have their own pro shop here so you can get all of the gear that you need so you look good and you play good and uh, definitely a really great ambiance in here. They've got some really cool hats, shirts, of course they have clubs and bags. I love that they have the fire going here. Uh, definitely creates the right mood either before or after you head out. All right, and here in the background, we've got the golf practice facilities. We've got a driving range. And right over there, of course, you've got putting greens to kind of warm up that area of your game as well. All right, so this is a Greg Norman golf course. It is 71, 33 yards long. It is a par 72. Uh, it is a private golf club. So if you live in Old Field, you do get a limited number of rounds per year that you can play. Beyond that, you have to join the golf club if you wanna play more. And they have different types of membership. So they have a full equity membership, um, which has a price associated with that. And you can call me if you need that because it does, it is subject to change. They also have an executive membership, a young executive membership, and they also have a non-property owner membership for folks that maybe don't live in the neighborhood but wanna buy in. So anyway, uh, Greg Norman Golf Course, it is absolutely beautiful. Um, there was a quote I read on the website that said, Greg Norman said, we always dream of having a location like this to develop. And this was the first Greg Norman golf course here in the South Carolina Low Country. Now I'm down at the River Club, and the River Club is the centerpiece for formal dining here in Old Field. And it's just fitting that this is located right on the river because historically people would arrive here by boat. Um, this is open a few days a week, and it's also offered up as a wedding venue. But if you want the best of the best, and gourmet dining in a beautiful, beautiful setting overlooking the river. This is it right here. Now, unfortunately, I'm here during the day, so this is locked up. So not able to uh, give you a tour, unfortunately. So now I'm on the back porch of the River House and you can see they've got a spot here for alfresco dining. And look at the view here overlooking the river. I mean, this is just breathtaking. Comment down below. Tell me if you could get used to this lifestyle. All right, now I'm down by the Outfitter Center on the river. And this is definitely one of the central gathering spots. Um, they have two full-time guides if you want to go out fishing. Um, they also have a boat launch uh, service if you have your own boat and you want to store it and have them put it in the water. 
but they also have plenty of kayaks and all kinds of ways to get out on the water. You can fish off of one of the multiple docks down here on the waterfront. You can learn to throw a cast net. You can do all kinds of outdoor activities. They actually have some reciprocal relationships with some hunt clubs and some shooting clubs, which I'll talk about a little bit later. And of course, uh, this is kind of an area where they have uh, parties, oyster roasts. I actually found an oyster on the ground, so they must have recently had an oyster roast uh, here down at the river. But we're going to walk around, take a look down by the waterfront, and just give you a little taste of what you might experience if you live here in Oldfield. All right, so there are three docks here on the river. And again, uh, they have boats. They ha actually have two full-time guides that will take you out on the river. They have people that can take you out fly fishing, or you can go out a little bit deeper water and catch some, uh, some saltwater fish. You can learn how to shrimp, how to crab. There's all kinds of really great things here. Fish, kayak. Um, we're gonna walk down to the end of the dock and I just wanna show you the view from down there because it is beautiful. All right, so now I'm down at the end of the dock and look at this view. I mean, it is breathtaking. And they actually have this boat down here, the Oldfield Bell, which they can take you out. Uh, they've got stand-up paddle boards right here. And of course, they have some kayaks over here. And this is salt water. So this is tidal, so it goes up and down with the tide. Um, you will see dolphins out here because it's salt water. And you've got this really cool pavilion right here with fish cleaning stations and everybody's got their own personal like crab pots tied up on the side so if you want to catch some crabs for dinner you've got that opportunity as well but uh, comment down below tell me if this is somewhere that you could get used to hanging out every day all right so i just wanted to show you this building right here i love this building it's kind of an outdoor uh, I guess you'd call it like a gazebo, um, but really cool event space if you want to have like uh, a family get together, family reunion, birthday party. Um, actually, those of you that have been watching this channel may know that my wife and I also own a gym. And one time we had our coaches appreciation party right here in this room, but super cool. I mean, it's all screened in, so it's open to the elements. And then you have this big, awesome fireplace so you can just imagine having a roaring fire here on kind of a chilly fall day uh, and having all your friends and family around here and maybe having some food out here overlooking the river um, I just I love this space so this is a really cool little area back behind the outfitter center you can see they've got these canoes here and then behind me here they actually have these inland waterways. So if you have maybe kids or grandkids or maybe yourself and you don't wanna go out onto the main river um, and you wanna stay in a little bit more contained environment or you just want you know, somewhere new to explore, you can come out here and you can paddle through these inland waterways and you can see you can go up under those bridges and, and you can go for quite a long ways and they've got the, they've got the uh, canoes and the kayaks here for you. So I just think this is another really cool feature of this neighborhood. So now we're at the sports club and I'm gonna take you inside and show you why they say that people at Oldfield take health and wellness very seriously. Let's go inside.
here they have a heated lap pool and I think that's great if you're just trying to stay in shape but I actually know people that live in here that do like the Ironmans and half Ironmans and triathlons so if you're you know into those kind of sports you've got a lap pool here and you've got miles of roadways around here that you can uh, run and bike so definitely for the health and fitness enthusiast this is a really great community so now we're at the resort style pool area and of course this is the middle of winter this is uh, December we're a couple of weeks away from Christmas and uh, so it's not being used a whole lot right now but you can imagine during the summertime this place is really just like being on vacation it's like being at a resort um, they've got a zero entry area here they've got chairs where you can just kind of put your feet in the water they've got a water slide over here for the kiddos and I mean I just think it's beautiful with all the big palm trees and the landscaping around the pool here um, you feel like you're on vacation year-round they also have this hot tub and it is very hot right now and if I weren't working and I weren't filming I would love to jump in there and relax right now and if tennis is your thing we've got these hard true uh, tennis courts here you've got some uh, kind of bench seating they do have a ball machine as well and then of course we can't forget America's favorite and fastest growing sport pickleball they've got a great pickleball complex here They've got some uh, bench seating, so if you want to just come out and cheer on your favorite pickleball player, they've got that as well. Um, and if you don't know how to play, don't worry about it. Most people move to the South Carolina Low Country and they don't know how to play pickleball, but I promise you'll pick it up very quickly and your neighbors are more than happy to teach you how. We also have this area if you want to play soccer or practice soccer a little bit down by the uh, sports complex if you have kids or grandkids living here or visiting you have this really great playground area um, lots and lots of different things to do in this area and it's really big and it's got the wood chip so it's nice and safe um, and it's right here next to the resort style pool which we looked at a minute ago so during the summertime if the the kiddos want to head over here and play in the splash pad and then come over here and play on the swing sets or the playground equipment. It's right here and it's very convenient. All right, now if b-ball is your thing or if you have kids or grandkids that want to play basketball, we've got a basketball court here. And the other cool thing is these are actually adjustable. So they go up and they go down. So if you've got that, uh, that 14 year old who wants to slam dunk and feel like Shaquille O'Neal, you can lower it down and you can <laughs> let them feel cool. So Old Field is also an equestrian friendly neighborhood. They've got these uh, stables and barns here. They also have fields and paddocks for the horses to kind of roam around. Um, so if you have horses, it's a great uh, neighborhood, but also if you maybe have kids or grandkids and you just want to bring them down and, you know, let them see the horses. I mean, it's just a, a really cool feature here. Um, so let's just take a walk through here and you can see we got a couple of these guys in here. Beautiful, beautiful horses. And uh, I did see some pictures on the wall of hunters and jumpers, so I'm not sure if maybe they have some obstacles available out here. Um, don't quote me on that because I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, just kind of a, a neat part of this community. It gives it a, a really great feel. And uh, let's just take a walk out here and we'll take a look at some of the, uh, the areas for the horses. So anyway, pretty cool. And chickens here at the barn. So, hey. All right, so I think I've made my first real friend here at Oldfield. <laughs> hey there. So down by the equestrian barn, they also have this area over here. I'm not sure if this is like a petting zoo area, but they've got all kinds of chickens in here. And uh, there's actually some chickens running around outside, but check this out. 
you got this big, huge pig. There's actually a couple of them in here. So I just think that's really neat. If you live here and you want to bring your grandkids or your kids down to see these animals, just kind of cool. If you have furry friends and you want them to make their own furry friends, we do have a dog park here. And as you can see, uh, these guys are having a great time out there today. So um, definitely a dog friendly neighborhood. So they also have this very beautiful community garden area right up here by the front gate. So if you have a green thumb or maybe you want to learn how to grow things and hang out with other like-minded uh, gardening folks, they do have these beautiful uh, community gardens out here actually overlooking one of the uh, horse paddocks. Right, so also good to know they do have boat storage here on site. And uh, I might have mentioned earlier, they do have a launch service available, um, meaning they'll put your boat in the water for you. So right here by the front gate, by the, uh, the guard gate behind me, they also have this little general store. And it looks like an old historic gas station, but actually they have a little store inside and uh, it's not open right now, otherwise I'd go in. But one of my favorite things is they actually serve ice cream in here. So if you have kids or grandkids and you want to bring them down for some ice cream, a great little spot. Or if you're a real estate agent that loves ice cream like me, you can stop in after you finish showing houses and go in and get your ice cream fix. All right, so now that you've got to see some of the lifestyle, let's jump in my car, do like we always do, drive around and let's look at some homes and some real estate. All right, hope you enjoyed looking at some of the homes and real estate. Now we're going to go inside my computer and we're going to pull up some of the numbers and some of the data so you get a better feel for the actual market here in Oldfield. All right, so now we are inside my computer and I'm going to share my screen so I can show you guys a little bit more about Oldfield. So first and foremost, um, if you want to learn more about Oldfield, you can go to this website right here, Oldfield 1732, and you've got a ton of information that you can get about the community. So you can learn about the history, the nature, um, all kinds of things, all the different amenities, which we're going to talk about. 
all about the golf and the golf memberships. Uh, even if you want to have your wedding out at Old Field, uh, you can do that. And real estate, um, again, I would uh, reach out to me as a buyer's agent if you want more detailed information about the actual real estate in here. Now I'm going to jump over to the uh, multiple listing service and I'm going to show you where Oldfield is at and we're going to look at some of the market data on Oldfield. So if I zoom out here, uh, as you know from watching my videos, I usually start by showing where Hilton Head Island is because everybody knows Hilton Head Island is a big tourist destination on the East Coast. So if I zoom way out, you can kind of see it's down here by Savannah, just south of Charleston. And when I zoom in, this is Hilton Head Island. And when you come across the bridge, you're in Bluffton, which is one of the fastest growing markets in South Carolina. And if you come down 278 and you go north on 170, that takes you to the entrance to old field and old field is right here off of 170. now this is technically called okatee but that's more or less a part of bluffton and it is you know of course beaufort county school district and uh, it is really beautiful as you can see it's right here on the river you're gonna obviously you'll get to see all the river footage in the other parts of this video but all these check marks um, are the past sales over the past 365 days. So you can see um, in here, the golf course kind of winds throughout this community. There's also all these inter waterways, which we talk about in the video. And uh, these are the past sales. So let's just look at the results. So there were 49 sales in the past year. And I've got these broken out on a spreadsheet to make this a little bit easier to understand. So price-wise, looks like the uh, the least expensive sale in the past year was $679,580. And it goes up, there's some in the sevens, some in the eights. Um, about halfway down the list, they jump into the million dollar plus range and you have quite a few in the low millions and a couple in the high uh, $1 million range. And then it looks like last year there were two sales that were just over $2 million. So, you know, I'd say half the sales were a little below a million and half were uh, just above a million. So let's look at some of the other data on this neighborhood. So out of the 49 sales that we had in Old Field, the average square footage was 3,198 square feet. And the average asking price was $1,103,784. The average sales price was $1,071,410. So that brings it to 97% of asking price. So the list price to sales price ratio is about 97% and the average cost per square foot is $334. Um, the average days on market here is 65 days. So they're not sitting for a long time. Now, the other thing I wanna point out, let me jump over here to the active property so I can show you this. Now, keep in mind, you're probably watching this three months, maybe even three years from now. Um, so these are all going to be different, but currently there are 11 active properties and i'm bringing this up because i want to show you that the poa dues without the golf club um, without the golf membership is ten thousand seven hundred and forty four dollars per year and then there's these initiation fees so you can see there's one for thirty four thousand dollars and there's one for sixteen thousand dollars so you add those up and it shows you the buy-in is $50,000 to buy into this neighborhood. Um, and then you're gonna be paying $10,744 per year. Um, and if you want to know the golf course fees, you can call me um, if you wanna join the golf club, sorry. They have the executive membership and then they have the full membership and then they also have the non-resident membership. And I can give you prices for all of that. 
Um, now there is one exception to this. For example, this home right here that's for sale, and again, this is probably not going to be for sale by the time you watch this video, but um, this is a Stanley Martin spec home, uh, which is uh, one of the builders in there. These are not fully custom homes. Most of the homes in Oldfield are fully custom. Uh, these are more like luxury production builds, uh, but they're very, very nice. And the good thing about going with one of these uh, luxury production builds is you are exempt from the $50,000 initiation fee. Um, now, keep in mind, they only have a couple of these left, so the odds are these will probably be gone by the time you watch this video. But um, again, hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about the market in Oldfield. All right, guys, thank you for staying till the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed learning about Oldfield. I hope you enjoyed touring the neighborhood. I hope you enjoyed looking at some of the market and some of the data. Now, if you'd like to find your own low country lifestyle, give me a call, send me an email, shoot me a text or book a Zoom call, all in the description below. And if you want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest happening here in the South Carolina Low Country, be sure and like, subscribe, and tap that bell for notifications so you'll be the first to know every time I drop a new video. Again, my name is David Simcox, host of the channel and a local realtor. It's been an absolute pleasure spending time with you today, and I hope to meet you in person at some point, but if not, at least I'll see you on the next video.